Hey, how's it going there? Don here, the German 3D Printed Nerd. And as you saw in my uh, a uh, couple of videos ago, I received a filament delivery to test out. Well, as we can see here, I've used quite a bit. And this is uh, so-called Easy Print Rainbow Filament. And I started off and I thought, I'm going to print me a brush holder and as you can see started off with yellow going into a little bit of orange and then going into lila going into a green all the way up that's not blue that's uh, that my camera's faking the color here because this is all green going from right there. It went into a gray and then into a green. And almost this would have been about a centimeter higher. It would have been yellow again. But uh, yeah. Then I printed a nice vase. As you can see on the bottom here, there's a little bit of green coming from yeah, where the last part stopped. Went into yellow, then it went into this grayish color, and then went into the lila. I mean, yeah, a friend was here yesterday, and he saw this printing, he saw this part, and he said, hey, this thing looks super. Oh, and I'll put a link down in the description for both of these items here. One is from... My mini factory, I think it was, and the other one's from Tink, uh, from Thingiverse. Yeah, not sure. <laughs> I have to check again. Yeah. Anyway, uh, print net 215 with 0.2 layer height, and yeah, that came out really nice. Okay, there's a little bit of hairs around here. A little bit from retraction settings, you know, has to be done. But that's no problem. Heat gun, and they're gone. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> One thing, and that friend of mine that was here yesterday and saw this here and then saw this at about this height right here he said well that's looking nice Don but you know and I said yeah would be nice if it <coughs> if the color change would come a little bit more often meaning uh, yeah for example you can see it here there's about one, two, three, four rows of green. Yeah. And, uh, well, I'd say for rainbow filament, you know, okay, if you're printing something like this, you can get some super effects. I mean, it really looks nice. Going from that little bit of green down below going into the yellow, getting a little bit orange, and then going in, into the lila, and then a little bit of a gray tone up here on top. But uh, I would have preferred cutting off about 10 meters of that yellow, and let only about that much of the yellow, and then let that lila come in, and then the gray, and then the green, so that I had more colors in in this one here. But that's something for the, that the manufacturers need to do. I mean, it's cool stuff, you know. That's a cool stuff. If you can't afford a paletti or a MMU unit. I mean, 
that's a cool way to do it too if you don't want to do this filament change all the time <laughs> but uh, getting back to this one here I mean this thing is really really practical for example for example let me just start off let me just start off for example there you go you can put in your brushes we have a couple more and then what I found out is really cool one second I'll show you for example you want to have this on your workstation where you're painting and you're filing your models hey the small the small files they fit in here on the front row without any problem and then I was looking around to see what else do I have when I'm working on my models oh 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 what did I find one second one second let me put it in here there we go now you can see these right here you know what these are yeah those are the tips for the soldering iron or this uh, special tool <laughs> all of this is nothing but a cheap soldering iron you go and buy the parts are your tips you know then you can screw them right on hey that thing works perfectly but yeah now got everything that I need for my works for my uh, finishing station right there and yeah really practical and with this vase here I well, I think somebody's going to be happy with it But, um, yeah, now you got to imagine. Okay, I made this. I printed this with, thank God, I did that too. I printed this with 30% infill. And as you can see in the beginning, from the road, it wasn't too much yellow. And then it went into the next color. It wasn't too much there. and went into the next color. So I could get this nice color blend. Yeah. But then, all of a sudden, when it was going to yellow, I mean, uh, yeah, there was a lot of yellow on this roll. You know? Because look how far that goes up. It goes up from there to there. This doesn't have any infill in that, in that sin, but uh, yeah, thick walls. I mean, this thing is stubby. And it is waterproof. I've already tried it out. <laughs> so you can put good flowers in there. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's from 3dprima.com. And I still have a couple more filaments that I need to test and try out. There'll be more to come, but till next time, take care, everybody, and don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, ring the bell so that you'll be notified when the next video is posted or when I'm live. So, bye for now.